South Africa's top tennis player stole the headlines this week as he ended the country's three-decade-long wait for a Grand Slam finalist. His tenacious efforts may have been in vain as he succumbed to a superior opponent, but his runners-up check of 1.8 million US dollars and moving up to 15 spots in the world rankings will make for a satisfactory consolation prize. It's a difficult match, you know, up against somebody who's been on that stage over 20 times before, and it's, uh, um, you know, definitely a few things I needed to have done better. Obviously, I had my work cut out for me, um, but I think overall. Obviously, it's been a uh, you know, very, very positive two weeks for me. The performance by the country's top player in the Big Apple has given the sport another push in the right direction at a time when tennis is enjoying some financial security and much-needed growth, according to Tennis South Africa CEO Richard Glover. We're obviously playing a critical promotion tie this coming weekend against Denmark in Denmark. And if we get promoted, I think we give ourselves a much better chance of Kevin making himself available, not for all ties, but for selected ties when, it, when, it, when it's aligned to his schedule. But I think it's, it's critical that we get promoted and then we can start having those discussions with Kevin. Questions have been raised around Anderson's commitment to Davis Cup tennis, but TSA believe that in future the 31-year-old could be convinced to represent the Rainbow Nation once again in the global competition. We started to invest in our structures, particularly at grassroots level, in terms of juniors, in terms of club tennis, in terms of transformation and development and, and some of our high performance programs. Um, but nothing really grows a sport or grows interest and participation in a sport like on-court success. So it's a massive boost for South African tennis in terms of what Kevin has done over the last two weeks. The ball is firmly in Kevin Anderson's court. The world number 15 has been missing from Davis Cup action due to a busy schedule. And should South Africa get promoted this weekend against Denmark, he could be persuaded to return to the Davis Cup for South Africa's push to the world group something they've been longing for for a very long time. CS2 plus C, CGTN, Irene.